Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for World of Warcraft. This time it is for the Waste of Time. This is a secret belt transmog that is likely needed for the Hive Mind Mount secret quest chain that will likely be implemented in 8.1. Uh, if it's not, oh well, it's still a cool thing to do. Um, in order to start this process, you need Ball, the secret combat pet that you see on the screen before you. Uh, I have a guide on how to get Ball in the video description. Before you start this process, you need to get eight items. Or rather, in order to start this process, you need eight items. Four of them, four of them can be crafted by tailors, and then you can purchase the other four from vendors, or you can purchase all eight from the auction house, uh, you know, however you see fit. So the first place you need to go is Halla, which is a PvP town in uh, Nagrand in Outland. So first you have to gain control of the town for your faction, so you're gonna need to have PvP on. Um, and then a vendor will spawn once your faction has control. The vendor for Alliance is Aldran, the vendor for Horde is Karel, and you want to purchase Proximo's Rudius. So the next item you need is a rough wooden staff, and that is sold by any inscription supplies uh, vendor, or most of them I should say. The one in your capital city, either Stormwind or Orgrimmar, will sell it. Uh, seven silver, you know, it, it's really cheap. Uh, people do try to price gouge this on the auction house because they know that you need it for a waste of time, uh, but just purchase it from the vendor, it's a lot easier. Uh, the next thing that you need is sold by one vendor in Grizzly Hills. Now recently this vendor was patched to be friendly no matter uh, whether or not you've completed the Worgen quest line here. The vendor is called the Aspen Grove Trader and he can be found at the coordinates 34.98, 54.95 and you want to purchase the Punctured Pelt from him. Uh, and yeah, he's the only vendor in the world that sells this so make sure to purchase it from him. And he's uh, friendly for Alliance or Horde, you know, regardless if you've done that quest chain. So the next item you need is a uh, enchanting pattern and it is sold by one vendor in the world and he is located in Old Karazhan. So this area is accessible once you kill the curator boss. Um, this place is a maze, but you actually only need to kill three bosses to reach this. You have to kill Morose, you have to do the, uh, the play, and then you have to kill the curator. So that's it, you don't have to worry about any other bosses. Uh, this vendor is called Yithyar, and he sells um, the pattern for Enchant Ring Striking. So purchase that from him. And then the other items can be purchased uh, either on the auction house or you can get a tailor to do it. The four items are a wind wool hood, death silk shoulders, a netherweave tunic, and frost woven leggings. Now. Since people know that everyone's on this quest chain now, these prices have kind of skyrocketed a bit, unfortunately. Um, you probably wind up spending two to 3,000 gold. So it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. If, if you're a tailor, find the patterns and make it yourself. Um, otherwise, just purchase it off the auction house. Like I said, run you two to 3,000 gold. So now we are ready to search the world for hidden objects. And the first one is in Spires of Iraq, and the coordinates are 35.5, 32 and it is the Lit Orb. Now this is footage from a friend of mine, he plays a mage, he does not have ball, therefore he cannot see the item, so keep that in mind. Uh, the next thing you need is a Strange Seed. This can be found in Elwyn Forest, actually in Stormwind, near the Everbloom Portal, so if you're Horde, don't worry about like running through the city, you could just fly over. The coordinates are 17.47, 56.48. The next thing you need, or the hit, third hidden object I should say, is the Tiny Frog. Uh, this is back in Spires of Iraq, coordinates 53.5, 10.70, and it is a tiny frog on this rock. Um, there is an item that allows you to transport between Outland and Draenor. It's a mirror, and it is sold by the Time Walking Vendor for 500 Time Walking badges, I believe. So if you have the badges left over, go get that item. The fourth hidden object is the Brittle Bone that is found in Blades Edge Mountains in Outland, coordinates 33.6, 58.10, and it is right in front of this crystal. So right click that, and you'll get your fourth object. Uh, the fifth object is a misplaced candle. This is back in Spires of Iraq, coordinates 68.41, and this is why that mirror is really helpful because you can just bounce between Draenor and Outland real fast instead of having to go to the Dark Portal and you know, your capital city. So the misplaced candle is to the left of this camp. Uh, it's right in front of a bigger candle, so go ahead and right click that. And then the next place we need to go is Shadowmoon Valley in Draenor, so not too far. Coordinates 45.726, 56.10, 
and the item we need is an odd cup. It's near this campfire here towards the right. Um, it's with a bunch of other cups, but there you go. The seventh hidden object is an interesting rock, and this is in Shadow Moon Valley in Outland. So again, if you have the mirror, use it. Coordinates 51.63, 43.76, and this area is called the Hand of Gul'dan, I believe. Or the, yeah, the Hand of Gul'dan. It's at the top of the biggest mountain there. Uh, first person mode is really, really helpful for this. Uh, so just go into first person and, and try looking for the rock. It sort of stands out, uh, but there it is, you see it. Go ahead and right click the interesting rock, and then we're on to the eighth item. The eighth item is the Blooming Lily, and this is back in Swamp of Sorrows. Uh, it is sort of near Marsh Tide Watch for the Alliance, um, and the coordinates are 58, 31.65, and it is right under this tree. Uh, so go ahead and right click the Blooming Lily, and then you'll move on to the ninth item. Uh, like I said, that, that mirror is really, really effective, although towards the end of this 20 object chain, you kind of stop going out there. Uh, the ninth thing we need is the Pretty Flower. This is an Eastern Plague Land, so if you're a Paladin, use your Order Hall. Coordinates are 2478, and it is inside this crypt. Um, you want to kind of, while I do this, you want to utilize uh, Legion Dalaran as well as any way to get to Northrend or any other continent. So any other shortcuts you can think of, go ahead and use them. Uh, this will take you roughly three hours to go to all these places and complete this whole thing, so keep that in mind. Uh, the tenth hidden object is an old book, and this is in Deadwind Pass, coordinates 4179, inside the church that is towards the left up the hill from the entrance to Karazhan. Uh, it's a book towards the left here. It actually takes me a minute to find it because there's a bunch of books on the floor, uh, but yeah, I find it eventually here. Cool. Yeah, so go ahead and right-click that. Then we're on to number 11. This one is a dead fish, and this is in Black Rock Mountain, right near the entrance to Lower Black Rock Spire. So, um, yeah, just go ahead, you know, be showing you how to, how to get there from, from the entrance here. Um, keep in mind, oddly enough, there is an invisible wall in this room. I don't really know why, but if you try walking straight from the stairs, you're going to hit an invisible wall. Um, oh, my voice cracked. <laughs> so the coordinates there is 78, 14, 44, and, and use those when you're inside the mountain. The twelfth object is a scratched board. This is back in Duskwood, so not too far from Black Rock Mountain. Coordinates are 52, 62, and it is under like the ruins of this house or whatever this once was, and it's a scratched board. So now we're off to number 13, which is up in Hillsbrad Foothills near Alterac. Uh, the coordinates are 44.6, 26.34, and we're looking for a lost ring. It is inside of this, uh, I actually think this is like a school building, believe it or not, because I remember during the old uh, Dead Mines quests, you had to go into a school for something. And this is what it looked like out in Moonbrook. So find the Lost Ring, and then we're off to Object 14. This one is in the Badlands. Coordinates 9038 at uh, Fuse, Light, Fuse Light by the Sea. And it's a spoiled apple that's uh, in this larger building. I'm not sure if this is the inn or not. I think it is. Uh, but it's right on the dining table near the Roasted Pig. So right-click that, and you will have Object number 14. And we are on our way to 15, which is in the Blasted Lands. Coordinates 36. 0.78, 27.60. And this is a broken tooth on the Altar of Storms. And if you're flying from this angle, it's gonna be the statue on your right. And it is in front of this skull with the candle next to it. There it is, broken tooth. And like I said, like any other shortcuts you can think of to get around this world or the worlds of Warcraft, utilize them. It'll save you a lot of time. Number 16 is Black by is back by Black Rock Mountain, and it's a worn helm. Coordinates and burning steps are 27.10, 47.03. And it is on the corpse to the right, or actually right near the corpse, I think. Yeah, it's actually on the skeleton, sorry. So it's on the skeleton, right click it, you get number 16. Number 17 is back in Legion Dalaran. So if you have a Ring of the Kirin Tor, go ahead and use that, or Jaina's Locket, some way to get to Old Dalaran. And we're looking for a Leafy Leaf. Coordinates, use this, use these coordinates inside of Northrend Dalaran. It's 42.75, 20.18, and it's just a leaf uh, just off of the left flower box uh, on the ground. So now we're going for item number 18, which is a musty cloth, and this is in the ruins of Auchendoon, uh, near the uh, Shadow Labs entrance, I believe. Um, yeah, Shadow Labyrinth. Coordinates 40.21, 72.49, and it's in this tent. 
uh, inside of what I think is a crib, uh, but it, it's a musty cloth. So go ahead and right click that. And then we are on to object number 19, which is right near Grim Batoll, and it is a broken tablet. So use the waypoint Twilight Highlands 17.05, 57.86, um, yeah, to make sure to use the Twilight Highlands portal from your, your faction's Earth Shrine, uh, so in either Orgrimmar or Stormwind, and uh, <laughs> just portal out here. This is much closer to the Wetlands, though, than it is uh, Twilight Highlands, I guess I should say. The final hidden object that you're going for is the Ash Torch, and this is the most out-of-the-way one. It's in Feralis, or Feralos, or however you say that. 60.78, 67.78, it's near all these ogres. And once you have all of those, head back up to Arathi Highlands and speak to Zadormi in order to transport yourself to the old Arathi Highlands before it was updated. Zadormi is a bronze dragon in human form, and she can send you back to old Arathi Highlands. And once we do that, we need to find a hidden NPC that is on a farm uh, that had no purpose back in vanilla, but they have given it a purpose here, and this uh, NPC's name is Grimmy. He is a skeleton of a gnome. Interestingly enough, in the Chinese client, uh, he's a gnome. So I'm assuming this dude was once a gnome or something. But this is the sort of stuff that I really, really dig, in that you know Blizzard finds ways to use these secret areas that we used to find in vanilla, and uh, you know repurpose them and, and make them part of something secret, which is awesome. So. What we need to do is, you know, here, here's Grimmy, or Grimy, and there is a list of friends on the, uh, on the table to his right. So I go ahead and right click that, and then it lists out a bunch of NPCs, or uh, codes to NPCs that wear these particular pieces of clothing. So go ahead and equip your Windwool Hood, Death Silk Shoulders, Netherweave Tunic, and Frostweave Leggings. You can speak to Grimmy, he'll have a new dialogue option for you, and then once you select this, you will now be able to click the list of enemies, which is on the table to his left. And the riddles on this note are as follows. You flaunted your virility and red was never to my liking. Though I wanted to slap you, I always found you striking. Second, you always thought you knew what was best, but not everyone likes greens. Though I waved your way, I pictured your shredded hide in my dreams. Third, your bread was bad, you diseased lout, it made me sick. I would cheerily beat you with a stick. And finally, last you. I'm not even going to think of a rhyme for you. Mugs. I will dance on your grave. You are uniquely terrible. So basically what this is, is a code for the four items you need and then the people you need to find and emote at. So you need to slap someone, you need to wave at someone, you need to uh, cheer at someone, and then you need to dance at someone. And this is when you want to put those items back in your inventory in case you, uh, you know, got them earlier. Proximo's Rudius, Rough Wooden Staff, Punctured Pelt, and the Formula for Enchant Ring Striking. So, now we need to go find Grimmy's enemies. The first enemy we need to find is Aquinastraz, or Aquinastraza. I'm not, how you, I'm not sure how you really pronounce those dragons. Um, so, this first one is actually due north of Grimmy's, uh, you know, farmhouse. And the coordinates in Twilight Highlands are 28.4, 24.8. Go ahead and click the dragon and slap him. The second person we need is Nagra, and this is in Zuldrak in Northrend. So again, if you have a way to get to Old Dalaran, use that. He is an orc vendor, so left click him, and then you want to type slash cheer, and he will cheer back at you, which is interesting. A lot, no NPCs ever really do something back at you when you do something to them. The third enemy's name is Stained Mug, and he is a Grummel located in Kunlai Summit inside of the Serpent Spine, coordinates 44.4, 90.2. Left click him and type slash dance, and uh, he will start dancing back at you. So, the fourth and final enemy is in the middle of nowhere in Desolus. His name is Karnum Marshweaver, and he is located at 57.4. 47.6, although I'm saying he, I can't remember if this is a woman or not, but either way, you want to do slash wave at him or her, and uh, this didn't really work. He didn't, oh, he did wave back at me right there, sorry. Uh, but there's a macro in the description to make sure that all of these worked. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. So once you do all that, go ahead and return to Grimmy, and then he will have a new dialogue option for you. You do not need to have the uh, four pieces of gear equipped, but you can right click 
his favorite recipe in front of the fireplace. And now we need to go outside and find an ingredient. And that ingredient is a rotten potato. So the recipe calls for a pinch of turmeric, pound of salt, uh, board fur, and, and some other stuff. But head outside to 88.38, 69.21, and you will find a rotten potato. Right click this rotten potato 144 times. And once you click it 144 times, you will get uh, marked. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a buff called marked. And then you can go back into Grimmy and he will have a brand new dialogue for you. And this is the final thing you need to do. He will tell you where his uh, most prized treasure is. And this is the waste of time. So all you have to do, it's, it's, re it's right here. Just uh, exit his house, go up the hill behind it. And then you will see the chest for the waste of time right here. And make sure you have your sound turned on because it, it plays a cool little sound for you. But I'll go ahead and turn off auto loot so you can see it. So we right click the chest and then there it is, the waste of time. So if you have done all of this, if you've gotten Una, if you've gotten Ball, now you can go get the waste of time. So if you've done all this, it's probably taken you six or seven hours or more if Ball was bugged. But now you are all caught up for what we are hoping is the hive mind. And by we, uh, I'm not trying to take credit for anything here. This was this guide comes from warcraft-secrets.com, but uh, the community I'm talking about is the secret Warcraft Discord, and I'll put a link for that in the description. These people do nothing but find secrets and try to figure all this stuff out, and everybody's hoping that this will lead to the hive mind mount in 8.1 whenever Blizzard decides to implement that. I think that's it. Uh, this is a really long guide. This will take you about three hours to do, uh, but that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I'm always around, I'll always respond to you. Um, if this ever bugs out for you, I will put a macro in the description that allows you to track your progress of uh, both the objects, I believe there's a macro for that, and uh, as well as the NPCs you need to go visit for Grimmy uh, for his enemies. Um, yeah, like I said, that's it. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel. It helps a good deal. And if you'd like to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at SJ Cage. All right, guys. I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.